do. Welcome, my name's Anna. I love makeup and dress up and decorating myself. And I like to just share all of these quirky little ideas and fun experiments um, that I play around with with y'all in case you were curious or just bored and needed something to watch, someone to hang out with. So um, today I wanted to see if I could get the same look. I love these comparisons. It's just fun. It's a curiosity. Um, and I wanted to see if I could get the same look or a very similar look with these two palettes, which I would think you might at first glance be like, well, those are totally different. <laughs> but when I saw these, they're both fairly new to me. And I was like, those look actually quite similar. And so this is the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer from ColourPop. And this is the Bijou Brilliance, which one? Starstruck Splendor. Um, I don't think you can find this one really other than maybe Mercari, Poshmark, places like that. Um, but this one seems to be on sale everywhere right now. Um, I didn't see it at Sephora online, but I have seen it in store recently. And also, um, maybe Ulta now? I found out just very recently that Pat McGrath is now in Ulta, which is great. Um, I like the rewards program better. Anyways, um, I swatched them both out, um, and I tried to sort of match up similar, um, this one's actually a little more similar to that. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Um, and I tried to sort of match up similar shades. Um, this I wasn't quite sure, so I did both, and then... Um, maybe some of those actually fit here. Anyways, this is the Rudolph palette and that's the Pat McGrath palette. So I think this is going to be possible and I just wanted to see. So I'm, I'm going to try this. I'm going to use different brushes on each eye and try to get a similar look. My eyes are primed with my usual, um, ABH eye primer and my Pat McGrath Labs under eye powder. And off we go. Okay, we're zoomed in just a little bit so you can see a little bit more what's going on. Not so much a tutorial, but I don't know. I thought it might be helpful. So I'm going to start with, and I think this is going to end up being kind of a warmer look. Um, the, I don't know why I just said that. I, just this particular shade that I'm starting off with right here. <laughs> is on the, the warmer side of things. So let's see, or no, this, this, but still. Um, that is this shade right here in the Pat McGrath, which is called Forever Nude. So with a small fluffy brush, um, can I do this in this mirror? Let's try. <laughs> Let's try. So I'm just gonna... And Pat McGrath is gonna be on this, this side. That is a very pigmented shade. We're just kind of going all in on this. All right. And then similarly on the other side, I will go into Little Buck right here. It looks so much darker on camera than it does in real life. I don't know why that is. But I have another little fluffy brush from, this one is Len Bunny, which I really like that set of eye brushes. Was this the one? Was this the shade? And a little less pink. All right, I'm also going to pull some of this shade, Independence, together. So we're gonna mix those. And does that help? 
Maybe. Maybe, hopefully. A little more. Next, I'm going to do something quite daring. And um, since I'm holding this one already, I'm going to mix this shade and this shade together and see if I can somewhat emulate um, one of them in the Pat McGrath. And use a little rounded flat brush. So this is Rudolph on my right eye. Rudolph, right eye. Look what I did there. I think probably this side is going to be a little bit um, more kapow. It is Pat McGrath after all. And for all of my disappointments with some of just the palettes lately and just being a little bit bored by them. Um, she still does do a pretty good sparkle for, um, especially non-indie makeup. So, a little different shade than the other side, but Ooh, interesting. It's actually not as shiny. Are we gonna have to bring out glitter glue for Pat McGrath? That's crazy. Maybe it's because this one has more gold in it. Hmm. They are looking different so far. So maybe you can't get a, you know, a look. I'm gonna go back into just the pink shade with my other um, brush on the Rudolph palette and try to tone down that gold a little bit. Huh. Oh, my, my. More shiny. Or more intense. Interesting. All right, for my crease, I'm actually, or my um, outer corner, I'm going to use these two shades which in this palette is right here and it is called eternal bronze so first into the pat mcgrath on the left eye am i gonna have to use my pinky for this that's weird it's like not applying to my eye. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try with my pinky and see if that'll stick better. My pinky's too big for this operation. It's too big and it's blocking my light. <laughs> this is so scary. Uh, well, um, I am going to try with the brush to see just formula wise, whether or not this is going to uh, work with the brush, because sometimes I want the brush to apply my makeup. And this is called Up, Up and Away, the shade right here. I will say overall, it is my impression that the Pat McGrath formula was better uh, when I tried these before, but right now, I don't know, they seem to be kind of equal and fine in that way. And yeah, this is applying better with a brush. It was a slightly different brush, but still. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna take that, the fluffy brushes. I am keeping these separate, by the way. I am keeping very good track in case anyone was Thinking I was cheating over here. Just kidding. Nobody would ever think that. Um, okay. Getting some fallout over there. And then fluffy brush on this side. You know what I want to do? I'm going to take a little bit cleaner, larger brush on both eyes. 
and sort of, um, in fact, well, these aren't the exact same brush, but I want to try to smooth this area out. It's just looking a little not as blended as I would like. So the question is, I think the reflective bronzy shade, this one, should go on the lid. And then I'll put this underneath the eye. Or do I want that green on the lid? Yeah, I'm gonna do the green on the lid. I'm just gonna change my mind like that. So Pat McGrath, this is called Celestial Celadon, which, yeah, it works. And I am just gonna use my pinky for this. We're just gonna put that right in the center. I guess I'll just put it kind of on the whole lid. Blend it a bit into that side. Build it up. All right, and Rudolph. This is called Lil practice, elf practice, elf practice. I think it's not going to be as opaque and beaming. Hmm, interesting. Gonna have to build it up. A little bit more on this side, I think. Oops, I put it out too far. And actually, um, I'm gonna use some little brushes to um, use those shades on my inner corner as well. Cause I could cheat and use a highlighter, but this just kind of tests it, tests my theory better. Or hypothesis? I think it's a hypothesis, not a theory. All right, now for the lower portion of my eye, I think um, using whoop, this on the inner half and that on the outer half, we're just gonna have a shiny shimmery under eye. So I actually have two of the same brush for this. And we're going to go with the lighter shade first into Celestial Celadon or Cosmic Celadon, whatever that was called. Wait, no, that's not what I'm doing. What am I doing? <laughs> this is gold color. Fawn Fantasia. About like two thirds of the way. Okay, there's Pat McGrath's side. Now we're into the um, snowbank from Rudolph. Ooh, ooh, that one's messier. Ooh, that's so much messier. Whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Um, and then with that same brush, Going into this up, up, and away again for the outer um, little tiny area over here. And we'll put a little more up top. Not quite the right brush for it, but it'll be fine. Okay. And then on the other side, going into Pat McGrath. Right here. 
Eternal Bronze. Okay, so what do we think? Did we succeed? I think we did. I think we succeeded. Um, they're not exact. I feel like if you're right here and you know makeup, like, you'd probably be able to tell. Maybe, maybe. But they're pretty close. And from, like, here? So I'm going to call that um, a win. And uh, that's the video for today. <laughs> um, let me know if you have these palettes. If you thought the same thing when you saw them, they're both, I mean, they're both Christmas palettes. So, um, anyway, I hope you're having a good, um, week so far and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive